Hey everyone, what's up? Rob here, and I have some breaking news. I feel like I start this always the same thing. Let me try this again. Hey everyone, Rob here, and I have more updates on the eruption here in Iceland. Now, a lot has actually happened over the past few days, and I haven't been reporting quite as often as I typically would, just because, well, I wanted to build up a little bit more content before just flooding you guys with all the information. So, we are going to talk about the new heights that this eruption and lava is reaching. We're gonna be talking about the lava flow rate increasing dramatically, as well as Iceland is now preparing to build up defenses to battle the lava so it doesn't go and hit roads and, and destroy infrastructure. So we're gonna start first with the lava flow rate. Now, taking a look at all this information that Haskell Iceland's, the University of Iceland has presented you can see here very clearly in this third graph the lava discharge you can see it's uh doubled what it typically is so it's going now i mean typically it was going around what six maybe seven meters cubed per second and now we're hitting 12 and 13 consistently and it looks like it's speeding up and they're saying that this is a real cause for concern because not only is the volume going up the lava discharge it's causing the area to increase more but if we take a look down here at the gas release that is also increasing substantially now a lot of this also is uh very evident in the new heights that this lava is hitting and i know there's been some videos showing that it's going 400 500 meters in the air i mean when i was reporting on it back we were just talking about one or 200 meters being like oh my god look how high this is going but uh, now it's going, it's considerably higher every day, it seems. So let's take a look at a few images first. Now, this is one of the th new 3D models that came out. And uh, it came out on the 10th. So that was yesterday from when I'm filming this video. And you can just see how, let me just go full screen on this for us. You can see how impressive the lava is now. And uh, I mean, the, the cone here is is the main one that's erupting and that's quite a bit bigger than the original one which you can see is sort of this baby one right in front of it so this this second cone sort of from the direction away from the cameras looking is massive now those of you that were watching the live stream stream i actually you know we walked up this mountain here i would say maybe it's a hill mountain uh, and we were, I was live streaming from this edge looking forward. So that was a really great experience. I did walk down to sort of this lower area and it was, it was really, you can really feel the heat when the lava was going up. I was concerned at a certain point, the wind direction was going to change and some of these particles were going to start falling onto the hill because it's not that far of a distance. And I noticed the wind was pushing it sort of to the left here. And some of the particles were going pretty far. So if the wind changed direction and went towards me on the hill, there was a good chance that the lava was going to start hitting. And I think that's also the reason why the rescue team came in. They had their meters and they were going crazy because of the gas levels. And they basically just kicked everyone out. And they said, you can't be here anymore. So we all had to leave. Taking a look, though, there's this area here which is isolated but there are a lot of helicopters that are landing in this area for i guess private tours or or whatever i know that uh you know there's a lot of news agencies coming and i believe that they're probably helicoptering in somewhere in this area as well now the prime minister of iceland she was actually at the eruption site the same day i was although i didn't run into her and i believe she was up on this hill as well somewhere along there so again it's really getting huge if you're wondering where the original path was it is down here where all this lava is sort of coming coming through and that brings me to my next important point and that's the concern of all of this lava coming and hitting the parking lot now they're wondering because of this increased lava flow and this, these valleys basically filling up, 
they're thinking that the lava, as it's building up, if it goes down to this, and I'm hopeful I can say this correctly, Naut, how is it? Nautai? If you're Icelandic, I apologize. So if the lava does continue, it fills up this little valley and then goes down along this way and hits this area, it is a very short path to continue down towards the road where you can see all of the parking is. And that's a real concern because, again, things are speeding up. And if it continues to speed up, this could happen sooner than later. They are thinking about building some structures, some big structures, well, big or small, but that would be on either side of this hill in this in this sort of valley area to try and direct the lava into a different way. I'm not sure. I know some people commented on this before. I'm not sure that's going to work. I mean, from my understanding, you, you know, you can't really face up against lava, but maybe some people know if you can put it in the comments, if it's possible to direct this. But uh, I mean, being there and seeing the height of this lava, feeling the heat, I, I don't see how any structures can really redirect this lava for, for longer than maybe, you know, a few days at best. So they're, they're, they're planning something and they're saying that they can build this be, you know, a couple meters high, four meters high is what, what they're saying. And if necessary, they can at a very short notice come and clear everything out of the way so that not everything is lost. But, uh, in, in saying that they're thinking now to build some sort of fortified structure to try and stop the lava from, you know, hitting the road. It's, it's to me now, it seems like it's an inevitable thing, but, uh, yeah, you know, I guess you're going to try what, whatever you can, especially when they're thinking about building roads up here. So, I'll, I'll put a link to this 3D model in case I know a lot of you are really interested in this. You can definitely see the paths that people are taking. As you can see, this is the main path. This is where I filmed the live stream when we were walking up this way. And then me and my friends, you know, we went up through here and we, we sat there and then we came back down and it was down in this area of the lava that I was collecting some lava rock samples. Really amazing. I think next time I'm going to uh, maybe venture or try to venture kind of over in this area here. I think yeah, it might be a bit steep, but I know a lot of people that have gone there at night. They like sitting along this this hill or this this mountain. And my guess is because you have that lava flow going in that direction. But yeah, I just wanted to fill you in all in on, on this increased lava rate the structures that they're planning on building and this gas release thing. You know, things are getting more dangerous. Things are getting a little bit unpredictable, more unpredictable than, than this eruption has been. But uh, yeah, hopefully it doesn't go too insane. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of the comments, all the likes, all the people that subscribe. It means a, a great deal to me that you enjoy listening to this at all. And uh, until next time. Thanks so much.